Welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you how to create a notebook interior in four different ways. We will start with creating the interior in Graphic Designer and Canva since both of them are free. And then I will show you how to apply same principles on Adobe Illustrator and at the end you can go to my store and download the interiors for free. If you're new to this channel, my name is Anna and I do videos on how to create, maintain and grow your KDP business. If you like videos like that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell to receive notifications when I produce videos like this. Our first stop is Gravit Designer, which is a vector graphic design editor. Today, we are going to use the free online version of the app. To get to the editor, type in designer.gravit.io. I will also leave the link below. Once you log in, you're presented with a page like this. Either click on print and choose your preferred size or enter your page size on top. To create the lines, click on shape option on top menu and choose line. Once you choose line, your cursor will change. Click on left hand, press shift and drag it to the right. You can make your line thinner by changing the weight right here. You can also change the length of the line by clicking on the square right here and dragging to the right. If you want to create a dashed line, First, select your line, go to right hand, click on border setting and enter one for dash and two for gap. You can change the number as you wish. When you're finished, our second step is creating a guide for gap between lines. I will show what I mean in a few seconds. I want to create a medium ruled notebook. And based on Wikipedia, the gap should be around 0.3 inches. So let's make sure the height and width of our guide is 0.3. Believe it or not, our work is mostly done. All we have to do is copy and paste the line so we can fill out the whole page. Use the guide to make sure the gap between all lines are equal. Click on the guide and bring it closer to the line and the app itself will snap it to the bottom of the line. Now click on the path on the left hand, hit Ctrl and C to copy and Ctrl and V to paste it. Now click on the second path and bring it to the bottom of the guide. Now snap the guide to the second line, select both lines, copy and paste and snap new lines to the guide and repeat the same thing to the end of the page. Each time, snap the guide to the last line, copy paste all lines and move them to the bottom of the guide. To make everything even easier, instead of copying and pasting, you can select your line, hit the Alt button and drag the line down. This way, it will duplicate the path automatically. Once you created all lines, to make sure all of them are aligned correctly, select all of them, go to top right hand and click on align center. Although we use guide to make sure all of the gaps are equal, but I always use the vertical distribution option just to make sure. This option is also useful if you decided the page is too crowded and you need a bit more gap between lines. So instead of changing the gaps one by one, you can delete one or two lines and click on vertical distribution. This option makes sure the gaps between lines are equal. At the end, to download our file, click on export option right here. Once you click on that, it will ask you if you want to save the file on your Gravit dashboard. I'm gonna say no and then you can choose the format of the file you want to export. We're going to download PDF file. Later on on this video, I want to show you how to multiply the file by 100 and merge them all together 
to create our 100 page notebook. So now we are going to do the same thing in Canva. Log into your Canva account, click on create design, enter your height and width and hit create. To create your line, go to elements, search line, and you can choose between solid and dotted format. For this one, I'm going to go with solid. As you can see, the line is too thick for a notebook. So to make it thinner, just grab the corner and push it like this. As you can see, our line is thin, but it's also too short. So to change the length without making it thick again, we have to zoom on it. So I'm going to zoom it by 300%. Okay, now just drag and expand the line from right and left. Next step would be creating a guide like last time. So go to elements, search shape, and click on first square. Let's make this square smaller. As you remember, a guide should be 0.3 by 0.3 inches. So just like last time, snap the guide to the bottom of the line and select the line. Hold down the Alt key and drag it to the bottom of the guide and repeat the process until the end of the page. If you don't like moving the guide each time, Canva has a very useful feature that can be very helpful here. Let me show you what I mean by that. If you press Alt and drag the line, Canva will give you the gap between the lines. Decide how far you want to place the line from each other and make sure to follow the same number each time. This way is much more easier and fun. Once you're finished with the lines and you're happy with the way your page looks like, to download the file, click on download, choose PDF print and hit download. As I mentioned before, I will show you later on on the same video how to multiply the same PDF file by 100 to create your final PDF notebook file. For the final part of our video, we are going to use Adobe Illustrator. Click on create new, enter your height and width, and you're done. Right over here on left hand, click on line, click on left, press shift key down and drag it to the right. To change the line weight, go to properties and make it as thin as you like. If you couldn't find the properties toolbox, go to window and check off the properties. I want our line to be very, very thin. So I'm going to reduce the weight to 0.25 pixels. Once you're happy with the result, click on the line, hold Alt and Shift and drag the line down and let it go. If you hit Ctrl and D Illustrator, will repeat last thing you did. So now if I hit Ctrl and D, a new line on the same distance will be added to my page. So just hit Ctrl and D until your page is complete. Just like Gravit Designer, if you want to make sure the gap between lines are equal, select all lines, go to properties, on Align section, click on three dots. Down below here, where it says Align to, click on first one, which is Align to Selection, and then click on Vertical Distribution right here. At the end, to save our file, click on File on top menu, then click on Save As. Change the type of the file to PDF and hit Download. 
By now, we created one page of our notebook, so we need to multiply it by 100 and merge them all together to create the final file. There are several ways to do this, but I personally use a website called imtoolbox.com to do this process. I will leave its link down below. To duplicate and merge the files, just drag and drop your file here and drag this to 100 and click here. This will download a PDF file that has 100 copy of our original file. You can import this PDF to your KDB account. So far, we created our notebook in three different ways, but I promise you four. So the last way to create your notebook is the easiest one. I created different notebook interior designs for you, which you can download for free in my online store. You can find the link for that store down below. I use all of them on my own notebooks, so they are already tested and ready to use. So that's it for now. That was three relatively simple ways of creating a notebook interior page. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them all. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe, smash that notification bell and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. See you again. Bye bye.